Yo, what's up? My name is Petralcity, and welcome to my five quick tips for new players in Pokemon trying to get into PvP. Let's go ahead and jump into it. First things first, when building a team, don't get too worried about getting the perfect Pokemon. I always recommend people shooting for 2 times 31 in the two stats that are usually needed, such as 31 attack and 31 speed, or 31 special attack and 31 speed. You can't skimp on speed. That's important. Go for 2 times 31, and then 20 to 25 plus in the other stats, uh, and then correct nature is usually more important than that extra green number. That's super important to consider as well. But generally, something like a Garchomp, for example, you'd want something like 20 to 25 plus in HP, defense, and special defense and then 31 attack and speed is going to be super important and going for that jolly or adamant nature is also going to be super important once again nature more important than that extra green number Tip number two is to make sure you use randoms. Randoms PvP is the best way to get into PvP because you don't need to actually supply any of your own Pokemon. All you need is four gym badges in any one region and you can all of a sudden jump into Pokemon Randoms PvP. You can also win free competitive Pokemon by actually playing PvP, especially in randoms for free. For example, right now you could get a gift Electros. By the time you see this video, this is probably changed. These rewards uh, change out every two weeks. So you have two weeks to play enough games and win enough games to get this gift Electros and then you could essentially earn free competitive Pokemon and get into PvP totally 100% for free. Tip number three is probably one of the hardest, but you have to learn to be okay with losing. If you are new to PvP or if you are getting into PvP for the first time in quite a while, maybe you took a couple year break or even a couple month break, the metagame might have switched up tremendously to where learning it is going to be really, really tough. Instead of worrying about the end result of the match, whether you win or lost, try to notice three mistakes that you make every match, no matter how big or small, and try to keep them in mind moving forward. Focusing on what you can control and what you can improve on is super important with any sort of aspect of improving in Pokemon PvP. Tip number four is to use the resources at your fingertips. Things like the PvP statistics within Pokemon Mo are one of the most mind-blowing things that we actually have access to. It is incredible that the developers give us access to these tools. We can see the usage rate for certain Pokemon. We can see the win rate percentage. We can click on that Pokemon. We can see the top abilities being used. We can see the top items. We can see the top natures. We can see common allies. This is all extremely, excruciatingly important information if you're trying to learn a PvP PvP metagame or get into PvP in any way. This should be opened daily and studied relentlessly if you care about PvP. Checking the forums and chatting under the PvP chat under my Discord is a great way to ask questions as well. There's so many ways to learn about what's going on in the PvP scene and get an understanding of the metagame by just having those conversations and also checking the statistics. Alright, tip number five is one of the most complicated ones and deserves a lot of qualifications, but stick, stay with me for a little bit, okay? Have fun within reason. This may sound harsh or hilarious, but by have fun within reason, I essentially mean that usually optimizing the amount of fun that you're having is factored in by two things in PvP. Number one, how much you enjoy using your Pokemon slash team that you've built, and number two, how much you are winning and losing. If you're someone who wants to win above all else, you might have to sacrifice using your favorite Pokemon. Or if you're someone who doesn't care at all about whether you win or lose, you may have the most fun rocking that Choice Specs Ledian in OU, but you have to be aware of what kind of player you are. Most people are somewhere in between, using a Pokemon they enjoy while still having a decent chance at victory. Putting a percentage on it can help you understand. Let's say, for example, I care about 70% about using a fun team and the Pokemon I enjoy, and then a 30% amount that I care about winning. I need to understand that my win rate will suffer due to this, and that's okay. It's a really, really tough act to balance for anyone, and you just gotta try to get better at facing the facts and understanding that you can't always have both. You can't always play with your favorite Pokemon and have a really high win rate. You can if you're really, really good, but that takes years and years and years of practice. However, if you love Garchomp and that's your favorite Pokemon, you're probably gonna do just fine. 
that's everything I wanted to talk about today. Just five quick tips. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Hopefully you're having fun with PvP. I know it can be a tough journey, but definitely stick through it. It's a really fun time on Pokemon. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon videos. Check out the Discord link down below if you're interested in that. Follow me on Twitch for streams Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. ET. And if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, YouTube memberships, Twitch Primes, Twitch subs, PayPal, and Venmo all help me stay full time at making a video every single day and streaming four days a week. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Hey, thanks so much for watching the entire video. I really appreciate that. And if your name is on this list, I appreciate you even more. Thank you to everyone who goes above and beyond and supports my channel and allows me to make content full time. I couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day.